Hello, my name is Stefan Hilt and welcome to SPS 2025. At SPS 2025 we're presenting a brand new way to detect mechanical wear and tear on industrial machines. A solution that requires no sensors, it requires no hardware, all it needs is clever mathematics. So with our smart solution to detect wear and tear on mechanical machines, we can provide the basis of a complete predictive maintenance solutions by just using clever mathematics. No sensors are needed, no extra hardware. All we need to do is a small docker that's installed on the PLCs that are running your industrial machines, and we can give you valuable wear and tear information right out of the box. The clever mathematics that our solution uses tackles the underlying element that's in charge of maintaining the proper operations of every industrial machine. And that structure is the control loop. Every machine consists of thousands of control loops that interlock to make sure the machine performs exactly as designed. Just like this balancing device behind me, which is a very simple model of a control loop, the purpose of the balancing machine here in this example is to keep the ball in the center of this, um, of this platform. And when the ball is rolling fine, the control loop has an easy task to maintain the balance of this particular machine and we get a green light. Everything is working perfectly. But when the ball has a fault, for example, when I replace the ball with this golf ball, which has a fault in that it has small dimples and it no longer rolls as easily and smoothly as a wooden ball, now the control loop struggles to maintain the balance of the machine and our mathematics detects that struggle and signifies that the ball now has a fault, the machine has a fault and what we'll see in a few seconds is that we see a red light on, the light, light, uh, on, the, uh, on our light indicator. The red light now means that the control loop has to struggle more than usual to maintain the balance of that ball because the ball has a fault. If I replace it back with a smoothly rolling wooden ball, the balancer goes back, the machine goes back to normal operation, and we will soon see the green light again. The smart of our solution is based in some clever mathematics that observes the behavior of a control loop but just by observing and recording a small amount of data related to the set point of a control loop, the actual value of the control loop, and the control output. And based on these three variables, of which we only need a few seconds, we can calculate the efficiency of the machine. Uh, and just like with a wooden ball, the efficiency varies depending on the health of the machine. When all is working well, when all is working smooth, we get a good efficiency calculation. When the machine deteriorates, we see a drop in the efficiency. And that's the indication of maintenance being necessary on our mechanical machine. What we see on this graph now is the set point of one particular control loop that we're analyzing. And we see how the machine follows the set point using the, through the control loop. And out of this data, what we can record is the relative efficiency of the machine, which we see plotted here. So what we see now here is that the machine has an increase, is showing an increase in efficiency and then a drop in efficiency. Both of those events will create an alert to the user and will allow a service engineer now to go and investigate these apparent change in machine efficiency.